Uh, Brother Ismail from the U.S. Okay, I have two questions, if I may. Sure. First one is uh, in the Pakistani culture, when somebody comes back from Umrah or Hajj, uh, the relative and the friend invite them for dinner. Is that allowed, uh, permissible? Can we accept the invite? Okay. So in regards of the first question, Hajj and Umrah are rituals of Islam. They're forms of worship. Now, some cultures, when a pilgrim comes back safely from his ritual, they're happy and they tend to throw a party or to feast or to gather on a walima. What's the ruling on that? This is permissible. It's exactly when a person gets a promotion, we throw a dinner on his behalf. Or if someone um, gets engaged, no, this is not a walima for marriage, it's just an engagement. They throw a feast. There is nothing religious about it. Not just because he came from Hajj or Umrah and they're throwing a dinner gathering for him that it makes it an innovation. They're just happy because this person was blessed by Allah to complete his ritual and it's a chance for people to get together. There's no uh, nothing uh, wrong in attending it, inshallah, with this intention, and Allah knows best. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi'idhnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all, bi'idhnillah.